dynamic warm up. This is how we're just going to really quickly move every joint, get our body moving before we flow into the rest of the workout. So starting out is just going to be our head and we're moving our neck back and forth with each of these epi with each of these exercises. We're going to go for about five to eight reps. So it really depends on you and how you are feeling. If you feel good and five is good and you're ready to move on, do that. If something feels a little tighter, you're going to have sore days throughout this program. Just stick with it and go for eight reps or 10, whatever feels good for you. But next we're just going to turn our head side to side. Like we're trying to bring your ear to your shoulder and bringing your chin up the opposite direction. And just this pace back and forth in five to 10 reps, and then we're gonna rotate our head as far as we can. We're trying to get our chin past our shoulder without turning our upper body. So our shoulders stay in place, our head moves, and then next we're gonna move on to circles. And you're going neck circles as big as you can all the way around. You'll get at least five of them, switch directions, and go back the other way. After you get those, we're gonna to move to shoulder circles and we're just gonna roll back or opening up our chest, squeezing our shoulder blades together, coming around in as big a circle as you can and then we're gonna switch directions and go back the other way. So then you're squeezing your shoulder blades together and rolling towards your chest. Five to 10 reps each direction. Next, we're gonna move into a hip hinge. So here, you're gonna push your hips and butt back as far as you can, bringing your chest forward with your back straight. And then you're gonna lean all the way back, open up your chest, extend, arch your back a little bit, and it's gonna go back and forth. That's right here, I'm gonna show you from the side just so you get a better look at it. You're pushing your butt back, stretching the back of your legs, then squeezing your butt, extending your hips, and leaning back. You just go back and forth just like this. And then we're going to do a similar motion where you're going to step out onto one heel, pull your toes toward your knee, and hinge at the hips, pushing back and alternating. And we're just keeping it moving, flowing through these. As you pull your toes back, you'll feel a good stretch in your hamstrings and your calves while you push your butt back. And from the front, this looks just like that. You're just stepping forward, toes pull back toward your knee. Next, we're gonna do a quad stretch, just grabbing your foot or your ankle, pulling your heel to your butt, moving back and forth. And about five to 10 reps on each side, moving at a good pace, and then we're gonna pull our knees to our chest, keeping that same pace. We're just moving through these, we're getting everything moving, waking up our body. Next, you're gonna grab your knee with one hand, your ankle with the other, Pull that up and across. So you wanna think about trying to pull the center of your shin up to your opposite shoulder, back and forth. And now we're gonna get into our shoulders a little bit more. So you're gonna bring our arms straight out. You're gonna roll one thumb forward and one thumb back. So our shoulders are twisting in opposite directions as far as you can and then back the other way. So it feels really good just warming up your shoulders. We're twisting and every, stretching everything. You probably feel a lot in your biceps and into your chest and your upper back. You can also lean side to side toward one hand and then the other. And sometimes that helps get into a little better of a stretch. Next, we're gonna make a 90 degree angle at our elbows. Same thing, one is gonna be up, one is gonna be down. And we're going back and forth, keeping a straight line from one elbow to the other and just moving back and forth. With these ones, let's get about four on each side and then we're gonna add a side bend. We're getting this side as long as we can. You're gonna come back, rotate and go the other way and do about three each way like this. Back and forth, good stretch through your side. And then the last one, we're just gonna rotate through our trunk, letting our arms swing and pull us. If you'd like to, you can add a little bit of a hip rotation and turn your back leg, your toes, and your chest in the same direction. So when you turn to the right, rotate your left hip. When you turn to the left, rotate your right hip. Back and forth. And that is the entire dynamic warm-up. We're gonna do that every day before every workout. 
I also recommend doing it on your off days. It's a good way to just wake up your body and get yourself moving around. 